up, everybody? My name is Scott Paddock, and today we are going to talk about funk improv. Before we dive into the tutorial, if you find my videos useful, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. Okay, so let's get started. We are going to use the B-flat blue scale as our foundation uh, as we talk about how to make everything sound funky. Your blue scale is made up of the first degree of your major scale, the flat third, the fourth, the sharp fourth, the fifth, the flat seventh, and the root again. Okay, so there are three main steps to make your improv sound funky. The first step is play your eighth note straight. When we first start improvising, uh, we usually do it in a jazz style, again, using your B-flat concert blues scale, uh, and it sounds something like this. If you want to use those same notes and just play it in a funky style, we would even out those eighth notes. So step one is make your eighth note straight. Step two to funk improv is to syncopate your notes. So again, when we're playing in a jazzy style, everything is kind of connected in a line. If we want to make it sound funky, we need to put some syncopation there. So we're just going to play shorter notes and not everything is just going to be eighths in a row. The third step is the secret sauce that makes everything come together. It's all in your articulation. So when we are articulating in a funky style, we're going to use harder articulation. It's pretty much that simple. You have three main rules to follow. One, keep your eighth note straight. Step number two, syncopate them. And then make your articulations way harder. So those are the three main rules for making your improv sound funky, but there are definitely some techniques that can help you dig deeper and do the funk style. The first one is easy. It's just repeated notes. That simple. If you're gonna play that in a line. The second one is very similar. It's repeated phrases. If you're gonna play that in a line. If you're gonna put the two together, repeated notes and repeated phrases. The third is octave displacement. So when you're jamming out on a line, jump down to a low note out of nowhere, jump up to a high note out of, out of nowhere. When you're playing a funky line, that sounds super cool and it's straight out of the Maceo Parker handbook. The next technique is shifting the beat. So in this example, we're gonna use three notes. I'm gonna use on alto, B flat, which is your flat third, G, which is your root, and F, which is your flat seven and I'm gonna keep shifting it around all over the place. Another fun technique is the two note groove. You're gonna take two notes and you're just gonna play a cool groove out of it. So you wanna repeat notes. That's part of it, the articulation and the repeated notes and the syncopation, along with just having two notes in your groove. The more advanced version of this is the overtone groove. If you already know your overtones, this is a great place to put them in. If you don't, uh, you might wanna skip this section because this is definitely more advanced. But we're gonna use our root, which is G, and our overtone on C, which will be a G. So we're gonna have two Gs.
And then you can take that to the next level by adding other notes into your overtone group. And the final technique is just throwing some altissimo in there. Funk and altissimo go together perfectly. So that's pretty much it. If you want your solos to sound funky, you have to follow three rules. Rule number one, make sure your eighth notes are straight. Rule number two, make sure you are using syncopation. And rule number three, uh, over-articulate, articulate really strong. If you combine those three rules along with the basic techniques I just showed you, uh, your lines are definitely gonna sound funky very quickly. And most important of all, when it comes to funk, it's all about the groove. It's not about the chops, it's not about the substitutions, it's not about how outside you can play, it's all about playing something that sounds cool, in the pocket, and funky. Thanks for taking the time to check out this tutorial and I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks a lot.